Is anybody there? Jeff, go and see who's there, will you? Yes, Mother. Oh, poor man. He's blind. Who spoke there? I did. Is this the Admiral Ben Bowen, my boy? Yes, it is, sir. Ah. Is it you that keeps this inn? Oh, no, sir. My mother looks after the inn. Captain Billy Bones lives here, doesn't he? Yes, he does. He drinks far too much rum. Yesterday a sailor came to see him and, and the captain ran after him with a knife. That visitor was my friend, Black Dog. Take me up to see the captain, will you? Well, sir. And you can announce me like this. Billy, here's a visitor for you. If you don't take me up, I'll twist your arm just oh, like this. Oh, you're hurting me. Hurry up, then, and take me up. Captain Billy, here's a visitor for you. Ah, show me timbers! Who's giving himself the liberty to break? Phew! The blind man! Stay where you are. Let me fill your hand so that I can put something in it. There. You can guess what it is, can't you? All right, then. I'll be back at ten this evening with my friends. The black spot! You've given me until ten this evening. After that, you're going to kill me. But I'm not going to go down without a fight. What's wrong with me? I feel very ill. Why, what's the matter, Captain? I must have drunk too much rum. I feel as if I'm going to die. I'm choking. I'm choking. Captain. Why, oh, he's lying quite still. Mother! Mother! I'm coming! What's wrong? Oh, the captain! He's quite still. He's not breathing. Oh, the doctor always said he'd die from a heart attack. Now we're all alone at the inn. What are we going to do? Wait here a moment, Mother. I'm going to get some help. hasn't come back yet, and it will soon be ten o'clock. Mother! Mother! Ah, oh, there he is. Are you by yourself? I've been right down to the village, but nobody wants to come. Everybody says that Billy Bones was one of Captain Flint's friends. You remember Captain Flint, Mother, the pirate? Mm. And they're all frightened. What are we going to do? Well, William's warned the customs men, and Squire Trelawney and Dr. Livesey. Oh, I hope they arrive soon, Jim. You know, Mother, just before Captain Billy died, a blind man came to speak to him. I'm sure that he was one of Captain Flint's men. He said he'd come back at ten. If they find us here, they'll kill us. There's only one thing for us to do, and that's to leave as soon as possible. But I want to get back the money that Captain Billy owed me. I haven't had a penny from him for the past two months. Listen, Mother, ten o'clock striking. Quick, let's open the captain's chest. I'm going to take what I'm owed and not a penny more. God, here they are. You close the curtains and bolt the door, Jim. Just take this little packet. you bunch of good-for-nothings and tell the others to bring his chest along. Uh, there isn't a penny in it. Somebody must have been through his chest before us. A curse on it! But is the packet there that he stole from Flint? It's gone. 
It's that young boy. Uh, I should have been wary of him. Let's look around for him so they can tear his ears off. He must be here somewhere. This door's bolted. Hurry up. Blow up the house if you like, but find him and bring him back to Did me. you hear the signal? We'll have to get out of here. Quickly! You bunch of good for nothing! Find the packet first! It's worth a fortune! It's too late! Oh. Let's get out of here! They've gone! Black Dog! Dick! Don't leave your old friend here! Black Dog! Dick! We're all friends! Don't leave me now! Just look at that. Fell under my horse's hooves. I recognize him. It's Pew, one of Captain Flint's pirates. Well, let's try and catch the others. Come on, men. After them as fast as you can. While your mother's having a rest, Jim, show me the packet the rascals were after. Here it is, Doctor. Now, let's have a look. There's a map of an island with the longitude and the latitude and all of the distances marked. Hmm. Well, look, Doctor. Somebody's put two crosses in red ink on the northern part of the island and another to the southwest. And there's this sentence. Here lies the treasure. Treasure? Treasure! There's no doubt that this treasure is part of the booty that Rogue Flint took from all the ships he sank. Ah, well, I'm going to hire a boat and try to get this treasure. Doctor, you can come with me. Jim as well. And I'll take um, Red Ruth, Joyce, and Hunter. If that's what you intend to do, Squire, you must keep quiet about it. Mm -hmm. If those devils who attack the inn get hold of your plan, they'll kill us so they can get their hands on the map. Mm. Oh, you always know the right thing to do. I'll be as dumb as an oyster. What do you think of the Hispaniola, Captain Smollett? As tidy a vessel as you ever saw, don't you think? Yes, sir. Mm. Beautiful ship. But I don't like the looks of the crew. Well, what do you mean? You enlisted your crew without consulting me, sir. There's hardly a man jack amongst them that I'd care to meet in the dark. You think that I don't know how to choose my men? Look here, sir. It's not up to me to criticize your choice of men, and I've got to take what you give me. But you've talked too much. And all these fellows know exactly what you're trying to do on the voyage. Trelawney, you promised you'd keep quiet. Well, I suppose it is possible that I have said something from time to time. Well, all I can tell you is this. The crew has been talking it over, and ever since we began to get near the island, I've found them talking very secretively to each other. There's one man especially that worries me, and that's the bosun, Long John Silver. He's got too much authority over the others. Oh, yes. Well, there's no need to be frightened of Long John Silver. He's absolutely harmless. In any case, he's only got one leg. If you'd been around on the sea, Squire, you'd have remembered that old Flint had a one-legged rogue as his chief lieutenant just before he died. Do you mean that Long John Silver was Flint's lieutenant? Wouldn't surprise me at all. Good gracious. Well, this is terrible news. We're all in great danger. We'll have to clap him in irons. If you do that, the whole crew will mutiny. Mm. Oh, you're right, Captain. There's only one thing to do. We'll have to keep our eyes on this man and wait and see what happens. Before I go to bed, I think I'll just take an apple out of this barrel here. There aren't many left. They're right at the bottom. Well, what are we waiting for? Uh, Why don't we take charge of this old tub straight away? We can throw the captain, the doctor and the squire overboard. Oh, don't be stupid. They've got the map. What we've got to do is to let them discover the treasure first. Once they've done that, 
We'll take care of them. I'd like to cut their throats. The squire's going to be my victim. Don't you worry. You can have that pleasure. But while we're waiting, let's have a few glasses of rum. Oh, oh, yeah. That'll put us in the right sort of mood. According to what Jim says, the leader of these mutineers is Long John Silver. Yes. Well, perhaps we'd better go straight back to Bristol. Eh? The mutiny would break out as soon as we showed any signs of going back. Mm. We ought to play safe and wait and see what happens. That's what I think, anyway. Well, well, in any case, Jim can help us. He can spy for us. Nobody will pay much attention to him. I'll do the best I can, sir. Since we're just off the island now, let's give the men leave to go ashore this afternoon. If they all go, then we'll be masters of the ship. If they refuse, well, we can hold the cabin with Hunter, Joyce and Red Ruth. And may God help us. Well, men, it's been a tough day. So any of those who want to can go ashore. Oh, what do you think of that, man? Seems a good idea to us. We haven't been ashore for long enough. It'll give us a chance to stretch our legs. All aboard! Six of you will have to stay behind. The rest of you can come with me. I'll fire the cannon half an hour before sundown. Don't you worry, Captain. We'll be only too happy to come back. Look, Captain. Jim's just jumped down into the boat with them. Oh. Hold hard there, men. We're just coming ashore. Well, Jim... You coming with us? <laughs> that's a good idea. Do you know what a hostage is? Yes, I know. From now on, that's what you are, a hostage. <laughs> <laughs> we just touched bottom. Watch out! The latch will right. Don't worry about him. We'll soon find him on the island. I think I must be far enough away from them. They won't catch up with me now. Oh, I can't go any further. Oh, hello there. Why, who are you? I'm, I'm poor Ben Gunn. I haven't spoken a word to a Christian soul for years and years and years and years. And were you shipwrecked? I was with Captain Flint when he buried his treasure. He killed the six other sailors, but I managed to get away. I, I hid myself. He couldn't find me, so he went away to an island nearby where Billy Bones and Long John Silver were waiting for him. The three of them sailed off, and I've been alone here ever since. Do you mean Long John Silver, the, the sailor with the wooden leg? Oh, you know Long John Silver? If it's he that sent you, I'm lost. Long John Silver's a pirate. He wants to get hold of the treasure and kill us all. You're in a bad position. But never fear. Ben Gunn will get you out of that. If you help us, the squire will reward you. I'll ask. A thousand pounds as a reward. Did you see under this rock here? There's a little boat I made there. If things go badly, you can use it. What was that? Why, the battle must have begun. Follow me! Oh. Look down there on the old stockade. There's an English flag there. That must be Long John Silver down there. Can't be. Long John Silver would have hoisted the skull and crossbones. There must have been a battle on board ship and your friends must have taken refuge in the stockade. Go and join them and tell them that if they need me, they'll find me uh, between 12 o'clock and midday where you found me. All right. Hurry along there, lad. Hey. If you see you're getting shot at, run as fast as you can in the other direction. Jim, Jim, help him to climb over the stockade. Oh, come on up. Come on up. Come on up. up. We were worried about you, Jim. Why did you get into the boat with Silver? I was keeping my eye on him, like you told me to. By the bones of my ancestors, the youngster doesn't lack courage. I met one of Captain Flint's old sailors, Ben Gunn. 
He's been alone on the island here for years and years. He'll fight Silver if we'll reward him. But what are you all doing here? It was too dangerous on board for us, so we clapped all the sailors in irons, except for Grey, who decided to come with us. We came here as soon as we could with our weapons. As soon as those blackguards managed to escape, they fired the cannon at us. Yes, and one of the cannonballs killed old Red Ruth, one of the best servants I ever had. Look, they've sent somebody out with a white flag. We'd better watch out, perhaps it's a trap. It's for Long John Silver. Stop or I'll fire. Let me come in, Captain. I've got a bargain to make with you. If you want to make a bargain, you can talk over the stockade. But I warn you, of the slightest suspicious movement, I'll shoot you like a dog. Shepherd my timbers. There's Jim. He's a nice boy there. Hello, Doctor. Good day to you. You can keep your polite sentences, my lad. Get on with what you have to say and don't waste time. Well, it's very easy. You've got a map that shows where the treasure is. Give it to me and we'll leave you alone. Ha! Have you anything else to say? That's my last word. If you refuse my offer, the only thing you'll ever get from me is musket shots. Go on, hang yourself. Well, you've asked for it. Before an hour's up, you 